Hello and welcome to another command block tutorial. Today's video, we're going to be doing a little demonstration on how to make uh, commands execute when people join and leave a server. So right now I have two of my friends that are going to be coming in and out of the game just as like a little demonstration of how this works. As you can see in the chat bar, uh, whenever they join, I have a command that's saying hi. Uh, I have this command over here, which keeps the scoreboard on the side of my screen, which you'll see why in a second. But basically this could make so let's say you run a realm and you want people to go back to spawn whenever they enter the game for the first time, right? This is a really nice system for this. So like I said, I have two friends here. They're going to be coming in and out just to kind of show you how consistent this system is. I will say if you are running a single player world and you're loading it up yourself, most of the time it won't work. But if we're talking realms or if you're hosting a your world for other people, this is going to work very consistently for you every time. So you can see that my score is continuing to go up, but every time, if you look on the right side of my screen, that is. But every time that they join, their score is reset, whereas mine stays the same. And because mine stays the same, we have this timer that's constantly adding up the score. And I just use the score, score one. And this right here is the command that's just making them say hi. You can make this whatever you want. You just want to do at the score, score one, when it equals one, say hi. Like I said, you can see every single time that they join the game, it's going to execute that high command in the chat bar. Like I said, you can make it whatever one, you can make it a teleport, you can make it a clear, does not matter. So really the main system of how we are resetting scores for offline players, but not online players, that's kind of what this comes down to. So start off, we just have a test for at A, and then we have a comparator and a redstone and an observer. Now the reason for that is, is that when you have a test for at A, since redstone can have different power levels, it's going to have one power level for each player that is currently online. If I put this redstone lamp here, you can see now that he joined, it goes up to two. Now, because it's changing in its power level, the observer is going to see that, which is going to make this set of commands run. So what this set of commands do is it's an XU command. It's just checking for somebody. And basically what it's going to do, a scoreboard operation, it's going to make score two equal score one. So I have a second scoreboard that's score two, and I'm setting them equal to each other with this command. Then I'm completely removing the objective score one. Then I am adding the objective score one back to the game. That resets players' values for any of the scores. However, since we have this operation going, the scores are saved in score two for online players, but offline players get their scores deleted. Then we're going to be doing the same thing, but backwards. We're going to be setting score one equal to score two. And then we're going to remove score two to reset score two. And then we're going to add score two back, so that way score two still exists. Uh, and just one more time, I'm going to show you all the commands in order. So we have a test for, comparator, redstone dust, and observer facing the redstone dust. We have this command this command, this command, this command, this command, and this command. Then we have, this is display only, you guys don't have to copy this, this is just to keep the scoreboard on the side of the screen. Then we have this, this is always active, I have this on a 5 tick delay, so this is adding up the score, and that's why I'm constantly ticking up. And then you can put whatever command you want. So this could say, this could be a TP. This could be a summon a creeper every time a person loads in. It doesn't matter. You can make this whatever you want. The important part is that you do it for players who have score one equal to one. Because anytime a player joins with this system, it's going to reset their score one. And that's going to allow you to detect a player who has joined. All right, that's kind of all this for the system. If you guys want to see, like I said, on the side of the screen, you can see how when they get loaded in, their scores are completely reset. However, the players who haven't left, their scores keep adding up. And that's really the most important part because you don't want to be doing this for players who are already in the server. You only want to be doing it as players join. So it's a really good system. Like I said, it won't work all the time on single player. However, I'm saying when you're loading up your own single player world, however, it's pretty consistent with realms and hosting multiplayer sessions. Additionally, I hope you guys liked today's thumbnail. Uh, I have to thank 
I believe his name is Virix on my Discord server for letting me use his face in the thumbnail, as well as Jolly Defer, who's right here, for making the thumbnail. Um, I, I think it's pretty funny, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a joke, to be clear. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or join our Discord. I do recommend our Discord because there's a bunch of people on there who are able to help you. Um, and, yeah. Have a good day.